can actually pull it through the car. And the glass impossibly balances on the plate. Turn one deck into two. You can let go of the card completely and it will float. If I hold it like this, I can actually pull it right through the roof. Watch the strawberry of your imagination. It looks like it's inside this cup, but that's just an illusion. Red liquid changes into water. Grab the heart and split the car. Grab it from the bottom right here. I can actually pull it right through. Look at it was so small. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 simple magic tricks that you can do. What's so simple? So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. So we're going to take the glass of Hawaiian punch. It's Hawaiian punch. And I also have a red silk scarf. Watch, all I do is drape the silk scarf over the cup of Hawaiian punch, give it a magical wave. Now look what happens. It changes into a cup of water. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap your notification bell so you see all of our videos. How To Magic is the show where you can learn new magic tricks every single week, so be sure to subscribe if you're new. The secret to the magic color changing drink trick. Very simple secret, all you need is a piece of red film just like this. We'll just roll that up and stick it in the cup. So now all we have to do is fill this with water. And now we have a really, really nice illusion of the red liquid in the cup. And then all we're doing under the cover of the scarf is simply removing the film from the cup just like this. So now your red liquid has transformed into pure water in an instant. This trick is the definition of simple and easy. Try it out at home and and let me know how it goes. Take a chip from the bag, watch this. And the chip is magically restored. Here is the secret to the bitten and restored Dorito trick. You might have guessed this is not a real Dorito chip. And in fact, it works just like all the other bitten and restored tricks that you've seen on How To Magic. Our bite out quarter from EvanEraTV.com works just like this trick. You can see the top of the coin folds back to look like bite marks, just like so. And it's spring loaded, so whenever you let it go, the coin completely reforms. Leave a comment on the video if you want to win the magic bite out Dorito trick. How to make a playing card float. So all you do is take any card, hold it between your hands like this, and as you let go, it looks like the card just levitates in midair. The secret of making any card levitate is right here. It is your ring finger going to curl in just like this and let that card balance right on the tip of your ring finger. And the other hand is going to provide some cover so that when you let go, this finger of this hand kind of fills that void left by the finger being curled in there. So now it really creates this nice illusion of the card just floating right between your hands. You don't want to leave it too long, just a quick little levitation. And then you can immediately hand the card to them to inspect. They can look at your hands. There's no strings, no wires, no magnets or you can let go of the card completely and it will float in midair for real. The magic strawberry. Watch the strawberry. It turns into a banana. The first thing you need for this trick is some bananas. You actually only need one banana. The next thing you're going to need is a straw. So this is really easy to do. You start out with the banana clipped right here between your thumb and your forefinger, and it's gonna hide right behind your hand and your arm. So you wanna make sure the audience is seeing it from the front angle so that your banana is completely hidden. Now because this hand needs to remain in this position for the trick, the other hand is free to move the strawberry around. So we can clip it here, we can bring it down, bring it back up. Then when we're ready to make the change, we simply palm the strawberry at the same time that we drop the banana. So we drop the fruit like this, getting the audience used to this motion. And on the last drop, you're going to hold the strawberry like this as you let the banana fall from behind your hand. You're gonna conceal the strawberry. You can kind of point at the banana or grab it like this to show it to the audience. One of my favorite magic tricks of all time here, this is the ring and rope trick. I'm gonna pull up my sleeves. You can do this one at home very easy. Take the ring and the rope just like this, and the ring is clearly on the rope. You can see there's no way it could pass through it, right? So you can take the ring, you can show it to the audience, you can show the rope to the audience. You just hold it like this, and it looks like 
the ring passes right through the rope visually right in front of their eyes and you can immediately hand both of these out to the audience to examine. Stay tuned for the secret to the trick coming up next. All you need is a ring and a piece of rope about a foot and a half long. Start out the trick with the ring on the rope right in the middle. You're then going to hold it in this grip between your middle and your thumb. The forefinger is going to extend out and the rope is going to drape across it just like that. And these two fingers are going to pinch the rope right here in the front and then your thumb is going to grip it right here as you pull up like this. Your pointer finger is going to hold that rope right by the ring so it looks like the ring is still on the rope. Now it's just a little bit of acting and looking like you just pull the ring right through the rope. Magic card tricks. I have a single deck of cards and nothing else in my hands. You can see the box of cards on all sides. Now look, I take the deck like this. If I just snap my fingers, it looks like another deck of cards just magically appears. Now look, it'll actually happen again. Another deck of cards appears just like that. Now look, we actually have three full decks of playing cards, just like that. The Magic Multiplying Deck of Cards trick. This one is super amazing and available now at EvanEraTV.com. This is a card trick so visual that it actually looks like a camera trick, but it, believe it or not, it's actually really easy to do. We have this available now at EvanEraTV.com. You'll learn the secret to the trick. You will get everything you need to perform this amazing illusion. Head over to the link in the description and pick this trick up today. It is called Triple Helix. Plate and a cup. Now take the glass and balance it on the plate just like that. The secret to the plate and the glass trick is really easy. Here's what the audience doesn't see. Behind the plate, your thumb is going to support the glass just like this. But when viewed from the front, it really looks as though the glass is just balancing on top of the plate. Easy card trick you can do. I have the five of hearts here. Watch, I can actually just split it into the two and the three just like that all right here's how it's done i'm about to reveal the secret the secret to this trick is extremely simple and i will teach you how it's done right now pulling the heart off of a playing card super easy trick here you'll need the two of hearts and then you'll need this double-sided card right here the three of hearts on one side and the five of hearts on the other we have double face cards available at evaneratv.com that is our online magic shop the link for that is in the description of this video if you want to get some double face cards you can do this trick at home start out the trick with the two of hearts right here normal two of hearts the five of hearts three double goes just like this on the front you're going to hold this as a double lift to where the two cards look like one now all you have to do is pinch the front card right here as you slide it off the front and flip it over. You can start the trick showing the back of the double lift and then bring it into this position right here and then pinch here and boom right into this position. You can then show the back of the two if you want. Just don't flash the back of this card or you will expose the secret. Believe it or not this ball is not actually here. It's just a figment of your imagination. It looks like it's inside this cup but that's just an illusion. It was never there to begin with. In order to do this trick, you're going to need a magic sponge ball. These are available from EvanEraTV.com. You can get them in packs of four. You're also going to need a plastic cup with the bottom cut out. Very simple. You're going to hold the cut bottom of the cup with your fingers like this so that when you drop the ball in, it looks like it's just sitting inside the cup. Then when this hand comes over, you're going to let the ball slip into the other hand as you come up and point at the cup. Drop this hand to your side and ditch the sponge ball into your pocket. Then simply tilt the cup over like you're dumping the sponge ball out it's actually already gone from the cup then we bring it back up and just show that it has completely disappeared try this one out at home okay ava i have a really cool coin and card trick to show you so check out that coin make sure it's a normal coin nothing tricky about it i also have a card here with a hole poked right through the center of it now what i want to call attention to here is that the coin does not fit through the hole in the card. There's no way it could fit through that hole in the card. So try to pull that coin through there. No way it could fit, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so check this out. I'm actually going to dump it out and you examine the coin in this normal, right? Yeah. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to put the coin right back in here like this and I'm going to grab it from the bottom right here and actually pull it right through. How did that hurt it? It's too small. Like what the heck? That. <laughs> you want to know what's 
very easy trick here. All you need is a coin and any card. You're just going to cut a hole that is slightly smaller than the coin in the middle of the card, just like this, and then fold it in half. On the back of the card, you have a small slit cut right here along the top line of the card. Now what that's gonna allow you to do is have the coin secretly slide out the back of the card just like this. So you're going to contact it on the back with your thumb and slide the coin down and it really looks as though it slides right through the hole that they just saw was way too small for the coin to pass through. That is it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it too. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below and let me know which trick was your favorite. It's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Check the description of this video for information on how to claim your prize. Be sure to check out EvanEraTV.com for all the new merch. We have amazing holiday gifts, perfect stocking stuffers, and a whole lot more available now. And we have a bunch of magic tricks on clearance so you can get some really cool tricks for the holidays without breaking the bank. The link for that is in the description at EvanEraTV.com. That's our online magic shop. We ship around the world and we've got all the magic that you need. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, catch up by watching it right up here. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys. Thank you.